So the Unit Idol Rebooting Project, the title is this Crystal's Day. The show, produced by KBS, is about giving idols that first debuted a second chance at stardom. Let's find out how this show has the potential to change the K-pop industry. Since Produce 101 Seasons 1 and 2 exploded in recent years, the mass influx of survival reality TV shows are on their way. And The Unit is just one of the latest creations. It's pretty much a redemption project, a last chance shot at both former K-pop idols as well as current K-pop idols that didn't do so well on their first run. And even with Produce 101 Season 2, some of the members of New West competed on that show for a second shot. The K-pop idols so far that are participating in the show include Tiara's Arum, Boys Republic, Brave Girls, Big Star, Boyfriend, and Dalshabet Subin. Other members that are rumored to be on the show include Black Six, Royal Pirates, Ace, Zest, Una Kim, who's one of the former members of The Arc, EXP Edition, Wobble, and MVP. And you might be wondering, who are some of these groups? I've never heard of them. And that's exactly why The Unit is such an intriguing show. And there's a big reason why a lot of the mainstream public, as well as yourself maybe, have never heard of these groups. K-pop is oversaturated. Every year, there's a slew of groups that are coming out. And when I lived in Seoul, it was just too hard to keep up. Not even living in Korea can prepare you for how many groups come out each year. So naturally, most K-pop fans will go to a group that's trending on Naver, YouTube, in the K-pop circles, or by the big three, JYP, YG, and SM. And a lot of the smaller groups get lost in the shuffle. And that's what's cool about the unit, and a cool twist on the idol survival reality show genre. I'm predicting this show is gonna get a sizable fan base as people like second chances, people like groups that come back, that came from nothing, and rose to stardom again. The notion of never giving up on your dreams, and always striving hard, and powering through all setbacks and failures, is a key reason why a lot of people, I feel, will watch the show. Not to mention that some of the participants members and groups of the show also were decently popular. They actually had their own sizable fandoms, and while they didn't make it mainstream, they actually had diehard loyal fans. And I knew a lot of people back from, I think, 2011, 2012-ish that loved Boyfriend. In fact, their December 2011 single, I'll Be There, actually peaked at number two on the Gowan charts. So Boyfriend actually didn't do so bad. I remember back in 2011 when they debuted, there was a sizable amount of Boyfriend fans that I actually met. There was some hype behind Boyfriend that they would be the next big group that Starship entertained would produce alongside Sistar. And while unfortunately that didn't happen, a lot of the Boyfriend fans remained fans. So Boyfriend is one of the groups that had decent success debuting, had a decent fan base, but for whatever reasons and oversaturation in the K-pop industry didn't pan out in the end. Now, one last thing about the unit and what I see a lot of international fans are saying that this is a Nugu show. I know Nugu means who in Korean, but the way international fans use it is a nobody, like someone that you've never heard of, who is this person, like a scrub. And I think it's pretty insulting to these artists because a lot of artists work really hard and it's really hard to get noticed in the K-pop industry with all the oversaturation and who the media chooses to cover. I feel a lot of K-pop fans just don't see how hard idols work, or even if they do, they don't realize just how hard it is to break into the industry. There are a lot of talented K-pop artists that because of promotions or marketing or their company, they don't get the exposure. And thus, according to some international K-pop fans, are labeled as Nugu. And that doesn't really sit well with me because in K-pop, it's not always the most talented group that becomes known. There are a lot of unknown unheard groups in K-pop that could have easily become more popular if things went their way. I'm hoping that kind of ends or we rebrand Nugu into something else. For instance, the up and coming idols or the idols you may not have heard about former unknowns that are waiting to break out or idols that are unearthed gems i rather the international fans just use a different word other than nugu you know like i can't stop you if you use that word but again it's just so hard for artists to get noticed in the k-pop industry plus they work so hard now i know some of you guys don't mean it that you say oh nugu is just you know some word that the international k-pop community uses for unknown but i'm hoping we can move past that and use other words because i respect k-pop idols too much to use that term so what do you guys think about the upcoming show, The Unit? Are you guys excited to see the show? And is one of your favorite idols or group members that didn't do so well the first time around on this show? And what do you think about the word Nugu? Do you guys use it a lot? Do you kind of find it weird and strange? Or is it okay? I'd love to hear your comments in the comments below. And if you guys want my ebook on K-pop journalism and what it's like working in the K-pop industry in Seoul, please sign up for our free email list and pick up that ebook below. And with that being said, I'm off to watch another K-pop music video. So I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy, guys.